All right. So here you are. Here we are about that time in our coding careers to where we have to download and install Ubuntu. All right. We got to start using Linux and uh, we're going to do this inside a virtual machine from VirtualBox. All right. So first thing, type into the address bar or uh, Google VirtualBox. Click it right here and let's come over here to the download. All right. So click download. And it'll just come onto the computer. Uh, when we come over here, we'll go to the uh, Windows host or whichever one you want, got. And then uh, I'm not going to download it again. I already have it already. Uh, but it's only about uh, 171 kilobytes, 171,000 kilobytes. So like under 171 uh, megabytes. So it's not that big. And then let's just run, open that up and run it while we're here, right? So the first thing, just skip that one, just say next. I accept, that's fine. Uh, blah, 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 custom setup eh, or whatever. Just next on that. Uh, we're gonna have a network disconnection. So if you're downloading anything, don't, don't run this until you're uh, done downloading. And then just press yes. Missing dependencies, it's gonna put Python on here. Uh, and then I'm not gonna add it to the start menu. I'll keep the desktop and start by default when opening OVAs or OVF files. That's fine because I've never opened those anyway, so no big deal. And then uh, next, and then install it, right? So uh, it's starting up at 9.10 right now, and uh, we'll fast forward and I'll tell you how long it took. All right, so it's 9.11, all right, so it didn't take that long at all. Uh, start it up, yeah, let's go. And so this thing's starting up, and uh, it's going to open up this little uh, box right here. We'll deal with that in a second. First, let's come over here to Ubuntu and grab that. So let's uh, type Ubuntu download. Right, do Just put this in because it's going to be a pain if you just go to the site itself. Uh, and then go to the download Ubuntu desktop right here. Right. So come over here, and then uh, we're going to download it here. This one is actually, this one's actually 5.7. It's a gigabytes, 5.9 gigabytes. So that number, you know, of kilobytes. So it's, I'm not even going to bother uh, acting like I'm doing this one. But yeah, so just click that and then uh, come back to the video once you're done downloading it. All right. And now that you're back. Okay. Anyway, uh, so now that we've got that on here, well, let's go back over to the uh, virtual machine thing. All right. So we're going to click new here. And then we're going to start with this VM name. I'm just going to call it Ubuntu uh, VM. Don't put any spaces in it. It'll give us tr it'll give you trouble later. Uh, and then we're going to come. This is fine here. Uh, the VM folder, the ISO image. We're going to go over here. We're going to say other. We're going to come to the downloads. And then we're going to have the uh, image disk file for the Ubuntu. This should be the only one in your thing, but I don't, I don't know what you got it there. But this is the only one I got here. So let's put that in. Boom. No big deal. Uh, this is going to be set by default. So is this. And then we'll just go next. All right. So now we're going to put in our username. I'll put Codeman S right here. I'm going to put the password in over here because uh, I don't want to give anybody hints. I'm so paranoid. All right. And then you can just push next on yours. The rest of it's just fine. All right. So now we should be on this screen right here. Uh I, I I talked to uh, Chat GPT, or not Chat, but Jim and I. It said the best thing at first. At first, I gave it a ton, okay, and it was taking forever. All right, so that's not the play. If you got a ton of memory that you can uh, give up, don't do that. Just give it uh, about eight gigabytes. So eight one nine two megabytes. Uh, that's eight gigabytes right there. Number of CPUs. At first, I gave it a ton. No, it just needs four. All right, two to four. Uh, if you can spare uh, four, give it four. Now on this one, we want to give it about uh, 50 gigabytes. Just because it's like, you know, it's it's good for programming. It's good for hacking. And it's good for whatever. Uh, and it said, uh, uh, Jim and I said that if you're, if you're going to do video editing, 100 is good. But I don't know what kind of software you're going to be using on Ubuntu for video editing. So just 50 is fine. So let's go next. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Looks good. Finish. All right. So this. We're at 914. Uh, on this, it's you don't want to you don't want to click this. I'll show you what happens when you click it. Uh, if you click this with your mouse, 
this crap will come up. All right. And this will basically just lock the mouse inside of this box uh, unless you press cancel. So we'll, I just push cancel. So just let it fly. Uh, right now it's, what does it say? 924, 914. Yeah, 914. Uh, let's let it fly and uh, I'll fast forward and I'll tell you how long it took. So there we go. It's uh, done. It's doing a little uh, virtual machine restart that took about uh, four minutes. All right, because it started at 914. So it took about four minutes. Uh, we'll, I'll fast forward this to this part. It's getting to the uh, login page. So I'll fast forward. I didn't have to wait long for that. All right, so we're here. Uh, I'm going to put in my password over here because, like I said, I don't, I, don't, I don't trust you guys. Zero trust. Uh, that's how programmers should be. All right, got that in. Give me a second. All right, there we go. All right, so here we are. This is Ubuntu. Uh, view release notes. No, thank you. Next, uh, Ubuntu Pro. That all sounds great, except for I've never used it before, so why go pro already? Uh, no share? No, I'm going to... I'll share it. I don't care. I don't care about that. I just don't trust you. These guys are... Tr <laughs> anyway, and finish. Okay. So, uh, basically, the first thing we're going to have to get over here is going to be the terminal, all right? So, let's grow, open up the terminal. There that is. And so, now we've got this going... And that's pretty much it. All right. So uh, if you're if you're one of my guys following along with the try hackman videos, so here we here we are. This is this is where it is. Uh, I don't know exactly uh, how to do it, but we I do know we could do something like this. Man, ls, and we can see everything about the ls command. Uh, so this, I mean, basically we can do. You can follow along with my videos with this right now. Uh, I don't know about the actual pin testing and stuff, but we'll, we'll figure that stuff out. So anyway, so there's that. Uh, come watch the uh, come watch the try hack me videos if you feel like it. If you if you're if you're not a subscriber, go ahead and subscribe. If uh, you like the video, give it a like. There's that, and we'll see you next time.